All right, guys, got a new video for you today. Uh, for a while now, I've been looking into different blue headphones because it's my favorite color. And when it comes to higher fidelity headphones, there aren't that many to choose from if you want a set of blue headphones. Um, you can get some really cheap headphones. Uh, uh, Turtle Beach makes some gaming headphones that are blue. I guess just people in the auto audiophile industry like their neutral tones, like gray, black, and so on. But out of the blue headphones that you can find in the audiophile grade, if that's what you want to call it, is um, two Fostex, the Fostex Taconi Blue, the T50 mod by Fostex, collaborated with Taconi. There's also another one by Fostex, the TH900. That's like a limited edition. They have one on Amazon, but it's like $1,500, whereas the Taconi set is only 200 right now, which I think is lower than when it launched. I think it was like 300 250 Anyways, and there's also the, um, the M50, which is by Audio-Technica, and they have a special edition that's blue that's around $200 as well. But when I got them, I decided to go with the Deconi ones. So we're going to take a look at this box and unbox it today, and then in a couple weeks I'm going to um, get back with you on how it sounds and everything. But I'm super excited. I've heard good reviews about these. So we'll see. Um, looking at the box here, it's a very nice front face it has on it. Uh, you know, a box is just a box. You're either going to keep it to resell it or throw it away, or whatever you want to do with it. They have the features on the side here. Uh, proprietary diaphragm, ear cups design by Fox X to bring out the most dynamic frequency. Uh, newly developed Taconi ear pads. And specially designed inner baffle to increase richness and refine the mid-range. So Taconi did do some stuff. It's not just a new paint job that made it blue and some more comfortable headphones. They actually tweaked the, the inner workings of the headphone. So that's nice to hear. Uh, comes in a quarter... Uh, end of the end of the cable is quarter and then there's an adapter to make it 3.5 so we'll take a look at that and then a padded headband for comfort um, I don't know if the regular TR50 has extra padding or not I know that's a thing that a lot of mods do because they like to add that extra comfort strap so there's that on the back here it has some more specs uh, planar magnetic I uh, knew that Impedance 50 ohms, which sounds low because headphones are ranked in ohms and usually you would think, well, the lower the ohms, the, high, the easier it is to run the headphones. But actually, these are really hard to run, apparently. You have to have an amp. I guess you could run them off your phone, but everybody says that's a really bad idea, so I wouldn't recommend that. If you're going to get these headphones, you should probably either invest in an amp or uh, maybe find an easier headphone to run. Uh, Frequency response 15 hertz to 35 kilohertz, which is really nice. And detachable cable, which is nice in case it ever gets a short in it, you can replace it. Now, uh, this is really exciting. I have a serial number here, AO461. Right there, if you see, you can see that. So I'm thinking that means that this is under 500, which is really cool because when I got the Jubilees, that was something they promised if you um, ordered early enough on, they'd make sure you had one of the first headphones under 500. So that's really cool. I don't know how many of these they're making. I thought at one point they said these are going to be limited edition. So just being able to get under 500, having the, one of the first 500 is really cool. Now, if they only make 500, then that doesn't really matter. But depending on how many they make, that's pretty sweet. Mm got a piece of paper here it's all oh, okay it's not all Japanese blah, blah blah read this manual before using could cause choking yeah yeah okay there's that take it out of its box here and I'll show the camera here in a second completely bubble wrap which is nice keeping everything and that's it there's nothing else in the box I didn't think there would be it's not a very big box so sorry if I'm causing a lot of noise here. There's your adapter. It's going to take your quarter and turn it into 3.5. A very long adapter, so it's kind of odd, but we'll go with it. You have your cable and even more foam. So 
take that off and get this cable out and see what it looks like. So it is a rubber cable, it's not braided. Seems to be definitely long enough. I think it's six foot. Yeah, looks to be six foot here. So like I said, terminated in a quarter, and then you have your adapter if you have to use that. Luckily my Magni 3 uses a quarter and I don't plan on using this on anything else. A little locking mechanism on the, the plug there. It says Fostex on it. Put that to the side. And now for the main event. The extra pad. No, I'm just kidding. The headphones. Dakoni. They're very soft. Oh my. So, let's just see what we can see here. So there's it. These are not completely closed. They look like they would be completely closed. But actually on the bottom here, uh, they are open and I can see some foam in there, which is, you probably can't pick up on camera anyways, but there's the side of the headphone, another nice little graphic on the side there, and of course the Dakoni blue. Kind of light actually. They're definitely not as light as my, uh, no, they are lighter than my um, Philips Ship 9500s or SHP 9500s and they're lighter though than my um, my monoliths uh, five, my 560 monoliths so nice little braided cable on the sides here though the main cable is rubber but this is braided so these are velour uh, sides and then like fake leather or leather um, outer ridges and then you come with these extra pads here take a look at these sorry for the noise again set that down there and these are fully velour all the way around very soft seems to be some sort of memory foam or slow reacting foam there so that's pretty nice they give you two sets of head uh, ear cups in case you want to change them out. You like a certain listening style more than others. I'm going to take off my Jubilees, set them to the side, and then try on the blues here. Put those on their holder right there. Move the box here. Give these a shot. I definitely say L and R, so that's easy to tell. How's the slider? Kind of a stiff slider, but it's not bad. Well, they're definitely soft and they're definitely not near as open as my uh, Jubilees. It's a lot harder to hear my own voice now. See how big they, they seem to be able to go for a pretty large head if you have an issue with not finding headphones big enough. And I'm wearing a hat so a bit of difference there as well. Definitely comfortable and I'm super excited to find out what they sound like. So, I will get back to you guys and I'm going to start listening to these headphones. I'll see you next time.